Kramer, can uh, talk to us about the significance of this operation. Well, it's very significant. This is going to be the biggest samples we've returned from an asteroid. The U.S. also has a mission, OSIRIS-REx. But this, this sample from Japan, six-year round trip, they literally just landed on the Earth just about an hour ago, parachuted into the uh, Australian uh, outback, as, you're, as you're, you're showing in your, your graphics there. And what's really important is these, this asteroid has got organic molecules on it. I'm an organic chemist. This is the basis of life on Earth. So that's, that's why we want to see how did the solar system come to be, possibly how did Earth come to be, because these asteroids and comets delivered organic molecules and water to the Earth billions of years ago. So getting a sample of what the, the solar system was like at its origin four and a half billion years ago, that, that's what's so key about this. And these are pristine, untouched, and we've never had them before. That is really remarkable. You know, the mission science team believes one gram of material was collected. That doesn't sound like much, but you said it's the biggest samples ever from an asteroid. How can they learn so much from just one gram of, of material? Yeah, I think it's even less than that. It may be only 100 milligrams, which is about a tenth of a gram. But anyway, whatever it is, we have high-powered scientific instruments. I'm a chemist. So I know we only need very small amounts to do a lot of great science. You don't need, you don't need tons. OSIRIS-REx gathered about uh, two kilograms of material. They were hoping for 100 grams. They get a lot more than that. But with these 100 milligrams to gram that uh, Hayabusa found, it's spectacular. And it's enough to do the basic science. They did a mission 10 years ago where they only collected a few micrograms. So 100 milligrams is plenty to do the science on. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the OSIRIS-REx, um, the NASA spacecraft that did the touch and grow um, grab from the surface of another asteroid uh, a couple weeks ago. What is it about asteroids that is unique uh, from other planets or moons that has scientists so interested in them? Well, they are unchanged over billions of years. You know, we can get samples from Mars, which we want to do. Uh, but Mars has weather on it, so it changes all the time. So by going to these asteroids, we can see what did the solar system look like when it was formed four and a half billion years ago. That's why they're pristine, they're untouched. And so from that, we can figure out maybe how life evolved on the Earth. Because, like I said, these asteroids and comets, they brought organic molecules, they brought minerals, they brought water. About a quarter of the, the uh, water on, on Earth is from... The, these asteroids and comets. So we're going to learn what the solar system was like uh, at its origin. And from that, we'll hopefully extrapolate. Maybe, you know, we'll learn about how, how life originated on, on the Earth. So that's why it's important. Wow, that is uh, really remarkable. I can't wait to find out what they discover. Ken Kramer, thank you so much.